All right, you guys. Dasher tier program. What you need to know, do you need to prepare? Is it something good? Do we need to be happy about it? Are we happy these apps are starting to do certain things? And has it hit our market today without it hitting our market today? I'm back with another video. We are not going to be doing a ride along today because today is our 3K subscriber bingo giveaway. It already happened as you guys are seeing this video. So congratulations to whoever the lucky winners were. Thank you guys for tar participating and joining and all of that good stuff. And I hope you had a great time. But I want you to take a look at these screenshots here. This one right here is my mother's. This one right here is mine. Tell me. What do you see? What do you see? Is this a sign that the reward system has kind of gotten into our area without getting into our area? Because as you guys have known, if you know, if you watch my videos, I got accepted into the large order program a month ago. Have I seen one large order? No. Have I seen good orders since getting Top Dasher? No. Is it because the two-year program is kind of rolling out? Me and Hustle CLE have talked about it. It could be. It could be a very good reason why we're not seeing good orders. We're not seeing catering orders. We're not seeing any of that. I did read through the Dasher Rewards, um, the tier program, because I didn't really know much about it. Um, so we're going to go over some stuff today. Uh, we're going to go over a couple things of pros and cons that we get with the tier program and I will be honest in my opinion I am not seeing very many cons I am not the only con that I would say so far is that I do feel like it's messing up our algorithm for the people who don't technically have it right now but back to the pictures why is her acceptance rate a 28% I think it was a 28% 27% and it's yellow but mine's in the 40s and it's red. That's one telltale sign right there. We have two different ratings. Hers is below, mine is below 50, hers is below 50. Hers should be red as well. It's not. That tells me that the reward system is coming. I don't know if it'll be next rollout, but I think my rollout is gonna be the same time when Pedro made his video, he said he doesn't know when it's gonna happen. I feel like our cities are gonna, ha it's gonna happen at the same time. I already have some surrounding cities that have the tier program, like Columbus and things like that. And I will say that I haven't heard much talk about it. I've had a couple questions that I ended up answering myself during my research on this stuff, but I am excited. I'm excited because as somebody who does gig work and treats it like a real job instead of somebody who's just treating it like a, a means to make money, people who care about their acceptance rate, people who care about their completion rate, people who care about their customer rating, this will be good for you. This will be good for you. Now, is it very much different than what Top Dasher is today? It's not. It's not. I mean, they say that when you have a low acceptance rate now, during the whole Top Dasher stuff, they say that, you know, you won't see good orders. This will happen, that will happen. You have to schedule, you don't get Dash Now. Dash Now is true, but the orders still come in. I will say, maybe you have to decline six or seven to get a good order with a low acceptance rate but the orders are still there will that change with the tier program i don't know i don't have it i haven't heard enough feedback from it to know um i think the biggest thing that is affecting people right now is that doordash was not requiring you to have a high acceptance rate to be in their large order program they just needed the 95 completion rate i think 100 deliveries in a month um, and so on and so forth. You guys know what the what the what it is. I would say that I w with my zero percent acceptance rate, I would still see good orders here and there. I had to sift through a bunch, but 
I would still see some good orders. So is that still gonna be the case now? Is it going to be if you're under a 50, you get like the grunt of the grunt? I don't think so. I don't think the algorithm is smart enough to do that. I don't think that the algorithm is going to send this person a high paying offer and this person not a high paying offer, even though the person with the higher rating is seven miles away from the store and the person with the low rating is three miles away from the store. But I'm also not Tony Shoes, so who, who knows? You know, I don't know anything. But pros and cons of Top Dasher for one, this is the main one that I wanted to talk about, but first we'll go over the um, the levels. So obviously you have silver, gold, platinum. What does that sound like other than platinum? I mean, other than silver. Sounds like the cart stuff on Instacart, right? Everybody's going to these little tiers, these little, these little levels, things like that. So it's again it's not much different than what we have now it's silver 50 percent acceptance rate 90 percent completion rate 4.5 customer rating so you have to have the bare minimum of acceptance rate to get to see the diamond offers nothing's changed there a 90 percent completion rate that's always been what it is i mean not always but you know you go below 90 you have a chance to get deactivated we all know that 4.5 4.5 customer rating you have lower than a 4.5 customer rating you maybe there's other things that you need to change other than your completion and uh acceptance rate gold 70 percent that's pretty high for a mid-tier one but 70 percent bare minimum completion rate bare minimum completion rate that should not be hard and again 4.5 completion rate or 4.5 customer rating it's not i mean you know Platinum, 70%, 95% completion rate in a 4.7. A 4.7 is pretty standard. I mean, I'm at a 4.96. I've never been below a 4.96. Um, obviously, Platinum is your top car. It's top dog. It gets the best orders, yada, yada, yada. Will we see the best orders? My hopes aren't up with it because I fought so hard for Top Dasher last month and I did not see good orders. I seen trash after trash after trash and it brought me down to like a 42. And as you guys know, I did not make Top Dasher again. Um, I am at a 70% acceptance rate right now, but it doesn't matter because with Top Dasher in like Top Dasher program, you get you get to the end of the month to do it. If you don't do it, you have to go the entire month without. And that is something that I don't like. I don't like to do the work and not receive the rewards immediately. And that is something that's changing in the tier program. And this is something that I have not seen anybody go over yet. So for the tier program, let's say you are at a 69% acceptance rate. You already got the minimum completion rate that you need. You already got the minimum customer rating that you need, right? You get to 71 or you get to 70 or whatever. Within 24 to 48 hours, you receive the perks of platinum you do not have to wait a month you don't have to do any of that and who knows it might not even be 24 to 48 hours it could be in like right then and there you know so i love that i absolutely love that there will be no more hell week hell week will be out end of the month everybody's trying to get top dasher there's no orders out there it's oversaturated you can't make the money that you need to make because everybody's out fighting for top dasher is eliminated nobody will give a shit about what week that they're doing it everybody has their own time frame to be able to get the goal that they want to achieve with doordash and i do like that is perfect i love that they're making that change i love it it says for example if you are in the middle of a dash and accepting an order has increased your acceptance rate to 50, you have now qualified for silver status and you will immediately um, immediately unlock silver level rewards. If you are in the middle of a dash and unassigning from an order that has lowered your completion rate below the minimum requirement for silver, you will lose access. So there's pros and cons to it, obviously. There will be no more. I got top dasher. I can let my acceptance rate fall, I can cherry pick, and then race to get top dasher. Race to get top dasher at the end of the month. There will no longer be that, um, which is something that I kind of did, but it was more of like, I wasn't getting the orders that I wanted. So, 
Yeah, but hopefully when you put the work in to get to platinum, you do receive the benefits of platinum. And like I said, I'm hearing mixed things. I'm hearing good things. I'm hearing bad things about it. I'm not sure. We'll definitely come with a video because I'll tell you what, I got all the ratings to have platinum now and I plan on keeping those ratings because it's coming and I'm trying to be prepared. For dashers who are just now getting onto the platform, just like they would give you top dasher for like, what was it, two weeks? They would give you like top dasher. They will give you the same perks as well. You will get the perks of, what is it? All it says is you'll get new perks for your first 50 delivery. You'll get special perks. It doesn't say, it doesn't say if they're gonna give you silver, platinum, gold. It doesn't say any of that, but you will have the chance to be able to get a chance to have some high priority access orders. Rewards for being a part of the program. So obviously you can schedule your dash in advance, which if you have the top dash or the dash now, you really don't need that. Access to large orders, which is a big, big thing because I'll tell you what, there were some cherry pickers out here who were getting great catering orders and I was so damn jealous and I know I'm not very, I'm not a jealous person. But when I see somebody who's not taking their job seriously, they're cherry picking, they're only looking for catering orders and things like that, and they're not having the high ratings and like kind of taking pride, because I will say it does take pride to have a high acceptance rate. And I know a lot of people want to say, you're a clown and blah, 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 and you don't need this and you don't need that. I have always been an overachiever at what I do. And as independent contractors, you want to have a good rating. You want to like, if this was something that you were doing on the side as a business of your own, would you want good ratings? You would want people to say good things about you to be able to get the job, you know, get more work. You know, you do, it's a job. It's a job and you do what you need to do. So the whole cherry picking and kind of like, you know, just, and I don't, I don't judge anybody who cherry picks. I really don't, I could care less, but. I really do like that the catering orders are for the higher tiers. Um, people, if you want your catering orders, you gotta bust your ass, get your stuff up. But luckily, you don't have to wait a month to receive the perks, that's the best part. So just keep your acceptance rate up, do some earn by time, whatever it is that you need to do. It's not the end of the world. You will get your catering orders back. And then it kind of limits um, the people who are cherry picking or only get on for the catering orders and things like that, if you have a high acceptance rate and you have your completion rate and your platinum cart or not platinum cart, but platinum status, you get the catering orders now. So the people like me who have a 70% acceptance rate, the completion rate they need to have, I can finally have access to get a catering order. And the people who aren't treating the job, cause again, this is a job, the kind of like a job, like, hey, let's let's get some, you know, let's get our ratings up. Let's have something to look at, be proud of, like ratings in the green and stuff like that. They will not have access anymore. And if they want access, they got to do the work. They got to do the job. I mean, shoot, I've taken my fair share of no tip orders on earn by time to get to where I need to be. And some might say it's stupid, but you know what? I'm going to be rocking out with the catering bag required orders. And hopefully that's the case. If that's not the case, I rebuke everything I said and screw DoorDash, you know? One more. Um, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool because me and my mom talk about this all the time. But one more thing that DoorDash is offering for a reward is you get, um, I think it said 30% off. You get a 30% off weekly discount up to $15 on DoorDash every Monday. Every Monday. Some might say that's not really that good. I mean, hey, at least we're finally getting some money off on DoorDash because I do use DoorDash, I don't use it all the time. If like the kids are in school, I got the baby, I'm in the house, I don't feel like leaving. Mondays are my days off. I'll DoorDash myself some breakfast, me and the baby some breakfast. Heck, 30% off, I'm not mad at it. I wish it was like more of maybe we get Dash Pass for free or something along those lines, maybe how Instacart does with the with the upside or the uh, oil changes or anything like that. That would be a little better than 30% off of food every Monday. But I mean, I guess we gotta get what we can get. We don't really get the discounts on the Dasher apps, which kind of sucks. Cause usually, you know, you get the discounts where you work, but that's really not, that doesn't really help us make money. That helps us spend money. But regardless, hey, at least that'll be more orders 
out there from people who use DoorDash and work DoorDash and then you know it kind of the cycle goes around so do I think that the tier program is good I think that it's if it is what it says it is and because like I said, I got all the way up to 70, seen trash orders, brought my AR all the way down to 42, was not seeing anything good. I was have been doing earn by time just because I don't even wanna see if it's a shitty order or not. A wait at the store with me not getting paid for waiting, everything like that. If it's like that, then no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to go to the turmoil and everything like that. I'm a different breed. I like to see good ratings. Not everybody likes that. Not everybody wants to be like that. Lots of people have different apps to work on. But for me, I think that it's gonna be good. I, like I said, I like the fact that the catering orders are in the highest tier. So you have to work the hardest to get the high paying orders because that's how it should be in the first place. Somebody shouldn't have a 3% acceptance rate and should be able to just cherry pick catering orders all day. That's just, I mean, I know we don't like to talk about equality, but like that's just not fair. That's not fair. And I will say that I will whine that that is not fair. Um, if you wanna get the high paying catering orders, $200 catering orders, $60 catering orders, you need to work to get your ratings up or go to a catering app go to deliver that deliver zifty whatever it is and let the people who are working hard do and a lot of people won't agree with that i might get some hate in the comments put some cuffs on me i really don't care that's just how i feel that's my opinion on it if you are in the cleveland area the tier program is coming it will be here before you know it along with probably another 50 uh cities and um zones will be getting it as well and it's probably going to be a thing that stays i'm sure they'll have some tweaks here and there but i mean that's all i gotta say about it so if you guys made it to this part of the video don't forget to subscribe like share whatever the case may be and leave down in the comments below if you already have the tier program how do you like it has it changed have you benefited have you not benefited or if you don't have the tier program do you think it's coming to your location soon has anything changed with your acceptance rate have you been seeing large orders catering orders good priority access orders leave down in the comments i want to hear it Thank you guys again for getting me to 3,000 subscribers. I hope you had fun during our bingo giveaway. I'm a little nervous. It starts in like a little like five hours. I'm on my way to go do a catering order now. I will see you guys, I think Monday with another video. I'm not sure of the dates, but I will see you guys with another video. Bye now.